Hey there, welcome to my channel. This is Aya Khalaf. I'm a holistic health coach and a detox specialist. Today I'm going to be showing you a recipe of one of my healthy breakfast cakes that I like to go to when I know that I'm not gonna have a lot of time to cook in the morning or I just want something sweet in the morning. At the same time, I don't want it to affect my blood sugar dramatically, leaving me feeling drained and tired in the middle of the day. I want to have that sustained energy and sustained satisfaction and not feeling hungry for hours after having breakfast. So let me take you and show you my buckwheat cake recipe loaded up with seeds, carrots, apples, and a lot more. Start by shredding two medium carrots and one apple. You can either shred them really fine if you want it to be a softer cake or shred them thick like I did if you want a more chunky and crunchy cake. I then crack three eggs, a pinch of ground vanilla beans, a mix of cinnamon, nutmeg and cloves, a little bit of baking soda, two tablespoons of hemp seeds and chia seeds, one cup of buckwheat flour, quarter of a cup of maple syrup, two tablespoons of sunflower seeds, and two tablespoons of cassava flour or tapioca starch, half a cup of coconut oil, and then start blending everything together in your food processor. I'm going to put half a cup of almond milk halfway through just to let everything mix and you know incorporate nicely together. I'm gonna heat up the oven at 375 degrees and I'm gonna line a pan with parchment paper. I'm gonna spread my dough in the pan and put it in the oven from 25 to 30 minutes. So let's compare the cake that I'm making today with just a regular cake from the store. When you get a regular cake from the store, you're basically getting white flour, white sugar, some unhealthy fats and preservatives and additives and flavors and some other stuff. That combination actually makes it perfect for you to never stop eating and to eat more than you need because it's going to affect your blood sugar and cause a big spike in the blood sugar followed by a dip. And when you get that dip just half an hour or one hour after eating that cake, you will reach out for another sugary food or caffeine. It's also going to increase your insulin levels because whenever you get high blood sugar, you get a lot of insulin. And insulin is a fat storage hormone that will cause your body to store fat, especially in the abdomen area. So why is my cake any different? Well, first thing, I'm using buckwheat flour. This is a gluten-free flour that's low on carbs, high in protein and does not cause a big spike in blood. Second, I'm using only a little bit of maple syrup to sweeten my cake. And even though maple syrup is still a sweetener, and if we use a lot of it, we can cause a big spike in blood sugar, but it's it has a much gentle effect on our blood sugar and I'm only using fourth of a cup on the whole cake. Three, it is full of seeds. And this is where we're actually putting in the healthy fats and the healthy proteins. This is what's going to keep your energy levels, your hunger levels, and your blood sugar stable for hours to come. I'm adding hemp seeds, chia seeds, and sunflower seeds. And so it's loaded with fiber, protein, and fat. Four, I'm using healthy fats like coconut oil. Coconut oil can actually boost your metabolism. It's a healthy fat. It can help you feel full for a longer time and it tastes super good in the cake. Five, I'm using eggs and I'm using organic pasture-raised eggs, which again has a lot of healthy fats and healthy proteins. Combine all of this together and make that beautiful cake and you've got a healthy, hearty, breakfast cake that is full of vitamins, minerals, healthy proteins, healthy fats, healthy fiber that will not cause a big spike in blood sugar, that will not go cause your waistline to get bigger, and that will help you stay full, high in energy, and satisfied for a really long time. I think it's a good time for us to try the cake. It came out of the oven. I'm super excited to taste this with you. It's actually still super hot. That is delicious, actually. I wish you can taste it, but I guess you're gonna have to do 
the work yourself. So this is the kind of breakfast that I would really have if I have a marathon, a long day at work, or I just want to give myself a big boost in the morning. This episode. Thank you for being here in my episode. If you liked this video, please make sure to let me know in the comments below. And if you want to make sure that you're getting all my videos, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in another episode from Be Nourished. Thank you.